Hello everyone! Can you see me? Can you hear me? We have got so much to go through today. My stack is a little crazy, but I am just, I am so excited to open up some Elite Trainer boxes with you guys. I have got the normal Elite Trainer boxes here that you could buy in store, and then we're gonna battle it out with the Pokemon Center version. So we're gonna see which ones are better, but it's like a double box battle you know with most sets that come out there's just the normal versus the Pokemon Center but today we have two boxes with the release of Scarlet and Violet we've got Scarlet and we've got Violet so we've got a Scarlet and Violet of the normal set and we've got a Scarlet and Violet of the Pokemon Center ETBs and the Pokemon Center ETBs came with the LeChonk promo which now technically it is a promo so you could pull this card in the set as a reverse but this one has the Pokemon Center printed on there so it's a little different I didn't even know that that promotion was going on I just added the Pokemon Center boxes to my cart and they added the Lechonk and so I was not about to complain y'all know I love a good promo card so I need to open up these boxes I need a pair of scissors aha I'm gonna cut on into these these are mostly gonna be like any other elite trainer box that you could buy you know you're gonna get your brick of energies in here you're gonna get your dice you're gonna get your damage markers you get the player's guide that has all of the cards listed out go right on here it's gonna be scarlet to go with the scarlet theme but like I said here are the dice and the markers your separator, your eight packs of cards, your deck separators that have the gold and scarlet on both sides, but a little different. Your deck sleeves that are also the gold on the front. They're still matte, unfortunately, so I won't be able to use them. And then we also, usually this is just with holiday sets, but they decided, Pokemon decided to go ahead and give us a promo in our Elite Trainer box. So I can show these a little better once I get it out of the shrink wrap but if you got the scarlet you're getting Coridon if you got the violet you're getting the Miridon so the main difference in the Pokemon Center version you do get the same stuff but it costs a little bit extra because you get a little bit extra you get the same exact players guide same damage markers which is a little different than normal isn't it usually they're metal no they're not Usually you get a jumbo coin in the Pokemon Center version. I don't think they did that this time around, but you do get 11 packs of cards and the exact same promo, exact same separators, and it even looks like the sleeves are exactly the same. Usually they give you different sleeves as well, so I'm not sure why they didn't do the jumbo coin this time around. So you get a little less extra, I guess I should say, in the Pokemon Center ETBs than we have in the past, because like I said, you used to get the addition of the coin and if not one different sometimes you get like a deck box in it sometimes you get the different sleeves sometimes you get two packs of sleeves they've done a lot of different variations on the Pokemon Center versions now that I'm thinking things through I don't know what their reasoning their logic behind all of that is but this time around it looks like the only difference is that you get a few extra packs so I'm gonna go ahead and open up my violet boxes here get everything set up and then we can get on into our box battle and open our pack. All right, so as I was getting set up here, I noticed I got some error boxes <laughs> and errors in good ways. We got one extra pack in my regular Miraidon Violet ETB. So cool, we got nine packs instead of eight. And then in my Miraidon Pokemon Center box, we got two of the promo cards. So just extras abound. <laughs> which exciting I'm I'm here for it so I suppose I should have opened these up so you can take a better look at the promos I think they're lovely I think there should always be a promo in an ETB whether it's a holiday set or not this Coridon one happens to be my favorite I know I'm in the minority in saying that most people like the Miraidon better which overall I like Miraidon better as a Pokemon but this artwork just does something something for me with the waterfall in the background and it just looks so 
tropical foresty. I don't know. Maybe it's just because I want to go there so bad. <laughs> but there we go. There is the promo for Scarlet. I will show you Violet when we get to Violet. But we are going to start off with Scarlet, the ETB from Scarlet. Because it's called Scarlet and Violet, not Violet and Scarlet. So we're going to start off with Scarlet. <laughs> Do I need to explain myself any further? There you go, my friends. That is the logic behind me opening this one first. So it's still going to take me a moment. Yes, you're getting the code cards upside down because that's just how it's working so far. It's going to take me a while to get used to no card trick. Truly, this is very strange. I still haven't gotten used to the gray borders. I know some people are calling them silver. Technically, there's no shine to them, so I think technically they're gray. But let's see, we got a Meditite for a reverse. Anything behind it, we do have a reverse rare. I'll take it, I'll take it. And then we have, we got two starters, okay. It's also gonna take me a while to not consider the hollow a hit. I am used to putting hollows in my hit pile <laughs> for the recap, but mm -mm, not anymore. I have only opened up a booster box of this and then some uh, blister packs, just the ones with the promo cards in them. So the single check lane blister and then the triple check lane blister. I did get some hits out of those, so sorry, not on camera. I just opened up those little guys on my own. However, you know, we're here now. We are here now and we're gonna open these up and see if we can get anything new. And my memory card already filled up, but we've got the reverse Magikarp, we have got a reverse Scovillain, and then a Hollow Coridon. So nothing special in that pack there. But I'm curious to see what the pull rates are for this set. I've kept it mostly blind, you know, watching these online and everything before opening it myself. So I don't completely know what pull rates and stuff are. I had a decent booster box so it's hard for me to say whether it was good or bad i need to actually watch some other people open up packs before i can determine that but we have a grimer reverse a fluet reverse and a professor's research hollow okay so so far we are pretty much stricken out struck we have pretty much struck out yeah i think that's the proper Term there but that is not to say our luck will not turn around I think the black and white borders still don't mean anything for these cards or for these packs I know that that is causing a bit of an uproar in the community that they are easier to weigh or just completely able to be weighed we have oh we're gonna pretend like that didn't just happen. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> Are the ETBs unlucky for this? Maybe, maybe my luck goes either way with ETBs. It really does, it's just like collection boxes. It's, oh God, I still wanna do a card trick. <laughs> oh, it's just, oh, oh, there's two Rotoms in this set. Okay, I don't think I knew that. I don't think I've pulled that one before, but let's take a peek, see my friends. Is there two Zangoose as well? I don't know that I recognize this artwork. I feel like there was another artwork for Zangoose. Um, let's take a look, Croc Rock. Uh-oh, Primeape. Uh-oh, my friends. Uh-oh, my friends. We've got to get something in these last few packs here if this Coridon ETB wants any chance of being in the running at all to win this box battle. So far, so bad. That's okay, maybe we are saving the best for last. Maybe we are getting the worst out of the way here with these reverses and another hollow. I feel like I'm pulling the same hollows at this point, so I don't know if I have pulled all of the hollows that there are to pull. I feel like the set is way too big though for me to have pulled all of them. So, 
another yeah see look at there is another zangus artwork random why it's not like zangus i don't even think i caught a zangus or saw a zangus in the wild when i was playing the games i was gonna say did he play a big part not that i know of we've got a reverse kilowattrel a reverse rare howlucha okay and then a hollow slow bro okay go right on okay you have not done so great can you please give us some last pack magic? I don't think I'm asking for too much here. <laughs> Even if it's just like a $2 art rare, that would here. Let's take off this fire energy and let's take a peek, see, and see if we can get anything textured and shiny. I do have to clarify that I want texture involved because we are definitely gonna get shiny cards with the guaranteed double reverse hollow and hollow card. Oh no, it is a reverse. Re oh, okay. I don't think I've pulled this yet, so I'll take it. I'm not, it looks so dull. I want those sparkles to sparkle. The stars, you know? I don't know, am I asking too much? I hope I'm not asking too much, but at least we got a double banger pack. Um, I am hoping I can do much better in these next ETBs because that was that was really bad. Uh, let's go on into the Miraidon. It is the game that I played Violet, so maybe my luck is just gonna be with the Violet boxes. That could be. And like I said, I know a lot of people like this artwork better. It is a beautiful artwork, don't get me wrong. I just, I like the Coridon better. So it just is what it is. So that's not to say I'm gonna like this box any less better though, because that Coridon box was, it hurts. <laughs> it hurts. I don't wanna say it was a waste of money, but it certainly wasn't profitable. That's for darn sure. So let's see if we can just anything better, anything better, please. There are so many cards that I still need for this set, but it looks like we're gonna have to wait. We're gonna have to wait. This is the one that had the extra pack. So let's see if all it is is extra, extra bulk, or if it ends up being extra good. Curious that they still have like battle styles on the code cards, but yeah. How are you guys liking Scarlet and Violet so far? I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying seeing these new artworks. I'm enjoying trying to pull good things. There's a reverse rare. There's a Drifloon. And there's a hollow. Okay, okay. Well, I mean, it's something, it's something. We've all gotta start somewhere. So I guess we'll start with a reverse rare and hopefully work our way up. Let's work our way up. <sighs> Shall we? Shall we? There are so many beautiful art rares. So many beautiful art rares in this set. Let's see if we can pull any of them today please. That would be magical. Because the Magikarp, anyone? Did you follow me there? Okay. Well, I'm feeling a little unlucky. I'm feeling like yikes. I'm feeling like yikes. Yeah, that would be, I think that's actually a very good way of putting it. But I am not going to give up hope. Hey, there's gold cards that I would love to pull. The Maridon especially, but there's the Coridon as well. A gold card would be great. The Rare Candy. Yeah, there's gold cards. Let's go ahead and pull one. And pull one. And pull one? There was only one? No. Okay, I just couldn't tell that that Grimer was a reverse. Okay. But either way, still, nothing out of that pack. Nothing out of that pack. Can we get the Terrastalized Gyarados? Yeah? Crystal Gyarados? That would be fun. I got the Arcanine magically in my first booster box. So let's see if we can get the partner card. I mean, it's not, they don't Technically, I don't think have anything to do with each other, but you know, they're similar. So let's see. Or just any full arts in general. Slowpoke, Fido, and a Bonetta EX. Bleh. I will take it. Look at that grill. Very golden. I just, I really, 
I've heard the Japanese EXs look so good, like really sparkly and bright and vivid. And so for ours to be so dull, it just makes me sad. Like why would Pokemon take away some of the vibrance or all of the vibrance, I should say. I don't know, here, have a psychic energy too. I don't know, is that gonna help taking off the last card? Ah. I'm feeling I'm feeling a little let down but this is somehow this is how it is with ETBs I'm telling you guys I am telling you guys hey 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 weed cat how you doing uh, I feel like you used to be kind of like guaranteed at least when I used to open up older ETBs when I first started getting back into Pokemon cards it felt like you were guaranteed at least one full art so ETBs felt like a good move to me anyways to buy them uh, nowadays, <laughs> if not for my YouTube channel, I don't know that I would buy them. Now, if they're going to start including promo cards, heck yes, I will buy them. But uh, at this rate, I didn't think I could do worse than the Coridon box. But apparently Miraidon wanted to show me otherwise. We still have two chances. We still have two more packs. Let's take a peek. See, I love that Dolive card. It's so stinking cute. Let's see what we can do, my friends. Torkoal. We've got a Scovillain. We've got a Hypno Reverse. We've got a Quaxley Reverse. We've got a regular Hollow. Okay, so maybe this is just telling me that pull rates are really hard for Scarlet and Violet. Yikes. I'm wondering also if everyone is just opening everything up and so prices are like extra duper low for single cards because everyone just wants that Miriam card. Because I mean like I knew the hollows were going to be cheap but they're going for like 10 cents. Like really bad and even a lot of the other full arts are going for like 10 bucks which like I'm all for it. It'll make it easier for me to get the full collection. Oh my god. Miraidon, you just did worse than Coridon. Truly did not think that that was possible. Um, <laughs> this is scary. Now, Coridon, Pokemon Center, Elite Trainer Box. Can you please do better? Like, I'm not asking for too much. Like, I'm not trying to be too greedy, but can I get like one hit above an EX per ETB? I don't think that's asking for too much, especially like I said, considering full arts are going for just a few bucks. Like, you know, I just, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm being greedy. Maybe I'm being greedy. Maybe I need to, I need to center myself. I don't think I've seen that Star Raptor card before or if I, or that Star Ravia. Okay. Reverse rare. We'll take it and a hollow. Cool. Cool. We're off to a great start my friends um how have you guys this luck been this is this is making me feel really bad <laughs> but maybe it would make me feel better if I knew that this was the norm but it would also make me feel sad that other people weren't getting lucky either have you been able to pull any of the big boys have you pulled Miriam everyone's favorite card from the set apparently I just, there, up, up, up. there's so many good art cards in this set that I would love to pull. It's not going to be in that pack, but I'm talking like the Coridon out in the forest and there's the Dedenne in the foreground. It's so cute. Or the Maridon where it's like outside the window. It's kind of similar to the promo card, honestly, that you get in these ETBs, but there is a little Fido in the front hanging out in the apartment and they're just looking at each other. It's real cute. They have got the Gardevoir series of cards that's kind of similar to the Charizard series of family cards that they've done in the past for generations. We've got these reverses and another their hollow okay this with the rise in prices of Pokemon cards so that they can include more shinies aka reverses and a hollow in every pack it's not feeling like that price hike is gonna be worth it if the pull rates are just abysmal 
am I wrong? Like, do you agree? Do you disagree? Like, especially when you can go online and buy the full arts and stuff for so cheap at this point, it just doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel good. But I love opening the cards. I don't know. It's, it's a very strange, hmm a very strange question that we're gonna have to ask ourselves as collectors what can and what can we not and what should we not do as collectors what's gonna be the most uh, okay we can skip over brushes shush I'm I'm okay with that but you know like what's gonna just what's gonna be best for us I don't know but certainly this is making it seem like oh we're getting pretty pretty off-centered cuts there on these cards but this this isn't feeling good my friends although I do I will always stick by saying that it is important to post these kinds of videos where you guys can see that Pokemon is not all good luck you know I know you see it in a lot of the big Poketubers channels and whatnot because that is what is most exciting to see is when people get the big pulls I get it but also I personally don't want to lead anyone want to stray into thinking that that's all it is. Okay, Toxicroak EX, we will take it. We will take a hit. I know it's not the best hit you can get, these EXs, but hey, it feels better than nothing, that's for darn sure. But yeah, I think it's important, especially all things considered, you know, these Pokemon cards technically are a kid's thing, uh, and I know as a child I didn't understand the concept of the cost of these things, so it's good for kids to be able to see too that like your parents hard-earned money sometimes it really isn't worth getting these Pokemon cards at least not in abundance so let's see wow wow they really are a treat for here and there I think anyways at least that's how I got them as a kid you know they were they were a treat on random weekends you know maybe once a month and I guess that did make them feel a bit more special but either way I'm rambling on although I suppose that is kind of the point of these videos do people actually like watch these or do they just put them on in the background I do a combo of both I do a little bit of both when I watch Pokemon videos but let's see my friends Aw, two fire pups that's kind of cute that's kind of cute I mean it's not valuable but that's kind of cute. I'm going to take the cuteness where I can at this point because otherwise, like I said, this isn't feeling too good. I think I need a little cuteness to perk me up. So, I mean, we could still turn it all around. It's not to say we cannot turn things around here. So let's go ahead and see if we can get a big hitter. Can we pull a big hitter full art? Please. Please. <laughs> yes. Yes, I will take it. Yay, we got the Coridon full art. It looks really cool. It looks really nice. So it looks like I've only pulled one other full art, uh, and it did also have the green outline. So is that the new way they're doing the full arts for the Pokemon? I don't dislike it. I mean, with this one, it makes sense because the background is green. The other one, it didn't like make sense. So it was a little more apparent that it was green, but okay, okay, we got, we got a hit. It does it pay for the box? No, no, it does not. <laughs> But oh my god, thank god we got a hit. That that feels good. That feels nice. I appreciate that, Coridon. Is that what I get for saying you were my favorite of the two promos? I appreciate it, my friend. Can I also get your gold card? Now that's me being greedy. But hey, you gotta ask for what you want, right? Or else how's the universe gonna know that that's what you wanted? I think that's, I don't know, that's my mentality anyways. So let's see what we can do here with our final pack from our Coridon Pokemon Center ETB. Let's see if we can get anything good, my friends. I really hope so, but <laughs> it's so hard to tell. All right, a uh, little break has been taken because my memory card was completely filled up. 
and I've I've realized some mistakes that I have made. And by that I mean one mistake that I have made. Let me get through this pack that I was interrupted. So this was the last pack for the Koridon Pokemon Center ETB? Am I remembering that correctly? Let's take a peek here. I don't think I've seen anything out of this pack yet, but let's, like I said, let's take a peek, see if we got anything good. We got a Florgis, we got a Skiddo, and we got a Hollow that I don't think I have. I don't think I've gotten King Gambit yet, so I'm gonna say that that's a win, even though that's not technically a hit. What I noticed was that I was cleaning up all of the all of the cardboard on my floor, and there was an extra pack laying on the floor. <sighs> I, I missed a pack from Violet, I believe, the regular Violet box. No, that one had the quote-unquote extra pack. They were supposed to come with nine. So this was from the Koridon box. Let's see if I was about to miss out and almost put this into recycling with the other cardboard of the ETBs. Let's find out if there's anything good in this. And oh, okay, I'm already I'm already falling apart, you guys. <laughs> oh, what a what a mess of an opening. I am so sorry, my friends. Let's see if we can add anything to my hits pile that is looking so sad and small at the moment. Come on, please, Char Cadet, shop it. All right, so uh, it wouldn't have been the biggest loss if that had gone into the recycling. Now that I have fixed my mistake and we are back and I have memory card space, let's go ahead and get into the Miraidon Pokemon Center ETB. Please, please. I like was just thinking about it while I was sitting there waiting for footage to import off of my memory card. I was just sitting there and I was like, you know what? For the price that I paid for, and granted, there's always the experience that you have to count into, the experience of being able to open up these ETBs. But like, aside from that, just monetarily wise, if we don't get like anything out of this ETB, let's see, we got a Flittle, we got a Dolive, and it evolved. Cool. Uh, if we don't get anything out of this final ETB, the amount that I spent on these four ETBs, I could have purchased most of this set. <laughs> or at least a lot of the cards that I was missing. Like, I could have purchased the full art Miriam, I could have purchased all of the other Pokemon full arts, and also a couple of the higher priced, excuse me, the higher priced, um, Art rares. I'm sorry, my body is trying to yawn because it is struggling to get through these packs. Oh no. But you know what I mean? Like, that's what I mean when I say that monetarily, it's not feeling like it makes much sense, if any sense at all, to open up Pokemon cards anymore. And that makes me sad because I love doing it so much. But like, at the same time, I'm not made of money. I wish I was, like that could be fun, but I'm not, like that's the reality. Okay, we've got a reverse rare, and then, <sighs> please, I'm trying not to be downtrodden. I'm trying to manifest some luck, I am trying to get anything here, anything, really, anything. Can I get any kind of a hit? Okay, even just one, just one really good hit. It wouldn't completely monetarily make up for these ETBs, but like, just, that Koridon out in the forest, that full art Miriam, like the full art of the Miraidon, did I call it Koridon Miraidon? You guys know what I'm talking about, the Miraidon outside of the window. Like, I just, one of those big hitter cards, I'll take it, okay? This is probably worth a dollar or two, but darn it, I am so happy. <laughs> 
<laughs> that we got a full art. It's a Magnezone. Is Magnezone anyone's favorite Pokemon? It's one of those Pokemon. I mean, I would like to think that every single Pokemon out there, someone in the world has to consider it their favorite. But there are some Pokemon where I'm like, I want to meet them. I want to meet the person that considers, you know, Magneton or Magnemite or Magnezone or um, like Garbodor or Grimer. Like there's just some random Pokemon where I'm like, someone has to love you. Paris, like someone's got to consider you their favorite. And some of them... it dox bun like a dox a dachshund dox I, I don't do dogs but I thought it was a Fido it's not but do you see what I mean it looks so similar to the uh, promo now you can see them side by side like they're both apartment buildings we've got the foliage in the foreground um, that's a beautiful card <laughs> that's a really beautiful card I love it. Wow. I mean, I think we have a winner. <laughs> Even without opening these last, oh, I'm gonna open these last packs, don't get me wrong, but like, oh, that made it worth it. Oh, okay, so there is still some hope that ETBs can have good pulls. There is still some hope. Might be slim, at least looking at the data of my four ETBs, but there is hope. Good things can be pulled, my friends. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Uh, bliss, if you if you want. <laughs> All right, this is and this was out of the Miraidon, right? Like I'm not completely making that up. Okay, we got the Miraidon EX as well. Okay, okay, okay. We were saving the best for last. This pleases me. This pleases me greatly. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, it feels so nice <laughs> to not completely get both cheeks spanked by Pokemon. Like, thankfully, it's just it turned into a nice nice. Okay, we got a reverse rare. And yeah, okay, so this is this oh i am so much happy like this is the kind of luck i would love to get out of every etb now granted they can't guarantee that but it would be nice it would be nice yeah anyone else you with me can we pull anything else crazy i mean the likelihood is not high but i still i gotta keep my hopes up we gotta manifest Okay, okay, but we did get a reverse rare. This one is where it was at, okay. I mean, I know it's not like just because I got a lucky Violet Pokemon Center ETB that everyone should go out and buy them and that will be the luck for you, but hey, there you go. You should also let me know if doing the code cards upside down, if that is helping to get anyone else some code cards yeah because I know people say that they're usually gone within the first couple of or quickly anyways from my videos so please let me know if that has helped now final pack for this ETB for this video actually let's see if we can get some last pack magic we've been lucky so far so like can we get more lucky or is that just where our luck ended? Let's take a peek, see, and see what we can do. Behind Penny here, we have got a Reverse Blissey. We've got a Squovet and an Arcanine EX. All right, we 
We'll take it. Who's ready for a mostly not thrilling recap, but a recap nonetheless? Um, did I even need to put these in any kind of an order? Like for the most part, it was everything just lost in comparison to that last ETB we opened. So the first ETB, the last place ETB is going to be the Maridon, just normal one. We got a reverse rare and then an EX card and that was it out of nine packs. That hurts. That was bad. <laughs> the Coridon regular e, uh, ETB though didn't do too much better. We got a few reverse rares which like I'll take. I'm perfectly happy with. Thank you. But then all we got for a big hit, big in quotes, is an EX. So like yikes. Um, the Coridon Pokemon Center ETB comes in second place where we were able to get some reverse rares again. We got a Coridon out of the Coridon box for a reverse. We got an EX. We also got the Coridon Full Art from the Coridon Pokemon Center box. So yay. But the winner, no surprise, is gonna be the Maridon Pokemon Center ETB, where we got quite a few reverse, we did good on reverse rares today, if nothing else, I'm gonna give myself that. We got a couple of EX cards, one of which being the Maridon. We got a full art, Magnezone, and then the icing on the cake, the chef's kiss of the day, is this gorgeous, gorgeous, full art, art gallery, I don't know what we're calling these. It's a double gold star, yay. It's beautiful. It is absolutely gorgeous. And I feel so lucky that I pulled this. It made it all worth it, kind of, not really. It did, it paid for that one ETV. <laughs> But like, am I misremembering anything? Was that the only art gallery card we got though? Like, are those just super hard to pull now? Even like the really cheapo dollar, two dollar ones? I don't know, my friends. Is my luck with these ETBs or non-luck, should I say? Is that the regular? Or are pull rates just in general really hard for Scarlet and Violet? I'm not sure yet. That being said, I am excited to add these things to my binder. They will get added in in the binder build video that you guys will see next week, so stay tuned. Uh, otherwise, there will, I'm sure, be more Scarlet and Violet products coming out that I will open up on the channel with you guys. We shall see if I can pull any other big ones like this. This is such a stunning. It looks so good, especially in person. There are just, there's lots of changes happening in Pokemon cards and it's got me questioning a lot of things, but one thing I can say for sure is that I am still enjoying myself. I hope you guys are also enjoying watching my videos. You can let me know in the comments down below any or all of the questions that I asked you throughout the video. You can also just let me know how you thought I did here. It was rough, I know. It was mostly very rough, but just let me know things comments down below. You can also let me know if you enjoyed the video by giving it a thumbs up down below. I'd really appreciate it. And if you're new here, hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe. Tippity tap that notification bell down below and become a member of my casserole family, be it here on this channel or my main channel. I would love to have you here, there, and everywhere. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye!